morning guys I'm just eating my breakfast I've got a hard roll an apple an orange I've got my multivitamin my D manos and my probiotic and where is the protein you ask I don't know I hope it's in this kefir I'm sure it does have protein yeah it has 10 grams of protein so and lots of probiotics. Today is going to be a beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 71 degrees, which is perfect. And I've got two dogs. I've got that huge uh, Great Pyrenees. And then I've got a little old man. He's really old. He's a little cockapoo, I think. I think he's a cockapoo. His name is... Rigby and he's always a big matted mess and they want me to keep him long but I don't know it's so hard on him to yeah I might have to just shave him because I haven't seen him for a really long time so I know he's gonna be really bad and yeah so that's what I've got on the docket today and then I after that hopefully I will have time and the energy to go work on that flower bed that I was going to do last night. So that is, is the plan. And then I probably need to clean at least one room in my house every day ish because I want to do a really good job and like so maybe yeah, yeah today okay I'm getting too big and then I stress myself out. I'm gonna <laughs> just clean the walls in this living room here at least and like the floorboards. And then, yeah, we'll start there and see how it goes. That is not the abominable snowman. <laughs> that is Walter. He's huge. He's so big, you guys. There's no way he could ever fit in this tub. So I'm glad. No peeing on now, okay, buddy? I'm glad he's a good boy. I'm glad it's a nice day so we could go outside, huh? Yes. <laughs> He is huge. I just, I can't believe it. Makes me laugh. Okay, so we're going to go outside and give him a bath. And then, I don't know, I might take my blow dryer outside too. Because he's probably going to fill up. If I did him in here, it would probably fill up the whole place. He's very nosy. Nope, nope, peeing. No peeing. Do you guys see how huge he is? <laughs> it's crazy. He's so big. He looks like a... I mean, he could be a... As a livestock animal himself. He's definitely bigger than a pretty big goat. That's, I guess, his job. He's a herding dog. Well, not herding, really. He's a guard dog for um, flocks and stuff. So... All the, those kind of dogs are really smart. No peeing, no peeing. Everyone wants to pee right there, but you would get too much pee out on there, I think. Okay, guys, I'm going to take him outside now. <laughs> he doesn't like my camera either. I can't do him. I gave him a bath. And I blow dried him pretty good. Got a lot of hair out. I brushed a lot of hair out, but like I can't get underneath of him and he won't let me do his feet. So I'm just waiting for, and like any way I try to restrain him, it's just not sufficient. Like if he doesn't want to do it, like he just moves and, and that's, that's that. <laughs> so, um, Rich is going to be coming home here shortly and. Uh, maybe, hopefully he'll be able to help me so that I can get this guy finished up. And then, I mean, I'm going to need to get a better grooming table. Because this one, like, he wouldn't even fit on the table. And, like, if he wanted, yeah, it wouldn't hold him at all. So, and plus I can't lift him on it. So, I was thinking... 
like the beam up there and I know there's strong cross beams in the ceiling too I was wondering if like I put some kind of loops or something in those and then I could bring some like some kind of ropes or something like this down so that I could have something real sturdy to hold his hind end up because that's that's the part that I really need to get to um, it's got like some huge mats and stuff in it and yeah it ain't happening <laughs> unless we can get that so when Rich gets home we'll see what we end up doing because I really don't think Rich can hold him either he is just a wrong and a knucklehead huh Walter Walter are you a knucklehead Walter, are you a knucklehead? Yes, you are. So am I. I wanted to show you his foot. Like, that's one that I did. And then, this is one that I haven't done yet. But also, like, look, he has two toes on this part. Isn't that weird? Not on the front ones, only on the back ones. I wonder what the purpose of those are. There's Walter. All done. Rich looks so little. <laughs> you are a pain in the bum, Walter. Huh? He's actually a really good dog, but he has a... He's so strong. Good heavens. Okay, I gotta go take a picture of him, but he looks better, I think. I never can tell until I see the video after, and I'm like, oh, yeah, he looks way better. Okay. Chicken salad for lunch? The kid him. He has the saddest eyes, huh? You have the saddest eyes. You don't need to be sad though. We're all done now. Whew, that was quite the undertaking. <laughs> Thank goodness for that guy, because there's no way. Yeah, he's big. He is huge. Good thing he's a good boy. Yeah. Really good. You're a good boy too, Rich. He kept giving me kisses. <laughs> And when he got scared, he would tuck his head under my armpit. Yeah. That's so nice and stinky in there, huh? Yeah. Oh. Forgot to show you Rigby when he got here. But he's pretty messy. He's a little old man, huh, Rigby? He's so mellow and sweet. Aren't you? You were a very good boy. Yeah. So he's pretty overgrown, and he look, his going to look a lot better when we get done. There's Rigby, all done. Good job, buddy. That's a good job, huh? Rigby. Hey. Rigby. Rigby. Hey. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Hey. And Pharrell's going to clean out this flower bed now. So here is the before. You come over here. It's a mess. Alrighty. I cleaned it up. Got rid of all the leaves and I pulled most of the weeds. And Biffy put up the arbor cover. Thingy and he brought the chairs out and it feels really good out here it's like seven o'clock and it's probably like 65 or something yeah let's see okay the dogs are enjoying it out here too 67 67 thing I'm good I was off by one degree <laughs> I didn't even have to do that so I'm amazing you're like Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. We're going to bed. Tomorrow, Rich um, rented a log splitter. So he's going to be cutting up all those logs that I showed you on our front yard. And then 
I have two dogs to do and then after I'm done with those dogs then we're gonna go put the wood that he splits into the shed so we're going to bed early because we're old and we have a lot of work to do tomorrow so I'll see you later